Welcome back to Dielectric Videos. On today's episode, I'm going to be showing you the final iteration of my three-year test of this inexpensive eBay power supply. As you can see, the power supply does still operate. It's still able to support some loads like a calculator. And indeed, I was able to continue using all my mobile USB devices exclusively from power derived from this charger. That is pretty awesome because three years is really a nice round number and I think a good stopping point for this experiment. Now this did not actually operate completely without flaws for those three years. Seven months ago it actually failed high impedance where it couldn't support any load more than about 30 milliamps. I took it apart and found that the input transistor had gone high impedance. It wasn't shorted out but it, and it did still have some conductance but it was not able to support enough current to actually supply significant output. So what I actually did was rather than replacing any of the components on the charger, I took the transistor out and I actually baked it in an oven just to see if maybe it would reverse the electromigration processes or maybe it would reflow some of the internal solder between the bond wires and the silicon die inside the transistor. I took it out of the oven and put it back in and was very pleasantly surprised to find that it again was able to produce about 200 milliamps not the full 350 that it started out as, but still 200 milliamps, which was enough. And I was able to continue the experiment and finish the third year successfully without replacing any parts in this charger. So I think with that, it's a good opportunity to stop using it. Uh, I have another project coming up, which you'll see in a very, sh uh, you know, very soon in another video, where I'm showing all of my devices being run from a new single charger that is both used for higher power applications like skateboards and laptops, as well as the smaller USB devices. So I'm ready to transition away from using this charger for USB. With that in mind, I'd like to send it off to one of my YouTube uh, subscriptions so it can be shown on a bigger channel and maybe get some more interest from some of the other YouTubers uh, on the platform. Now I thought about sending it to Big Clive, but he has definitely been uh, pretty busy with the things he's reviewing and the projects he's working on. And I also thought about sending it to Diode Gone Wild since he likes to review small power supplies, but he just recently reviewed a huge batch of like, uh, I think 10 different little power supplies. So he's probably at this point fairly bored of reviewing them. With that in mind, I do think I'm gonna send it to Dave Jones on the mailbag on EEV blog. Yes, he is a fairly large channel and uh, you know, I have sent him things before, but I think getting a lot of viewership on a project, you know, on a device like this, and maybe writing a little letter about the story of running it for three years and doing all these experiments with it is kind of something that I think would be cool to see featured on a big channel like his. Additionally, I think he would probably get the biggest uh, surprise out of how simple the power supply is with its single transistor and how little interference suppression and safety features there are in the power supply as well. I feel like his channel would be kind of a good place for a lot of people to get a laugh about that. So I'm going to send it off to Australia to be reviewed on the mailbag, and hopefully uh, the COVID-19 spread is not going to impact our ability to ship this and send it over. If it does, it could definitely be a few months, uh, maybe even a year before we actually see this on his video channel. But eventually I hope it'll get there and we'll get to see some cool commentary on it from a, another professional uh, in the engineering community. So that's my quick single take update on my uh, progress on this, and we'll leave by just doing a bit of math on the calculator, just to show that indeed we can run some useful loads off this nonetheless. Thank you for watching this channel. I hope you all take care and stay safe in these trying times with COVID-19 and uh, you know everything that goes along with it. And I will I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.